In the vast, sun-scorched savannas of Africa, there exists a creature that quite literally stands head and shoulders above the rest. With its towering height and distinctive patterned coat, the giraffe is an unmistakable sight, a gentle giant that captivates all who lays eyes upon it. Giraffes, the world's tallest mammals, are not only impressive in stature, but also harbor a wealth of fascinating traits and behaviors that set them apart in the animal kingdom. So how is it possible that giraffes with their much longer necks have the same number of vertebrae as humans? And why do they have those long necks in the first place? Welcome to the insane biology of the giraffe. Giraffes are renowned for their distinctive coat patterns. No two giraffes have the same pattern. These unique designs are as individualized as human fingerprints. Scientists believe that these patterns serve multiple functions. Primarily, they act as excellent camouflage, blending seamlessly with the African savannas patches of light and shadow. This natural disguise is crucial for both evading predators and sneaking up to potential mates or rivals. Additionally, the patterns play a significant role in thermal regulation. The darker patches contain a dense network of blood vessels, which when exposed to the sun, assist in cooling the body by releasing heat. This intricate system of temperature control is vital for survival in the hot, arid climate that giraffes call home. At first glance, the giraffe's long neck may seem like a hindrance, but in reality, it is a result of structural adaptations that allow this majestic creature to thrive in its environment. The giraffe's skeleton consists of seven vertebrae in its neck, the same number as humans, but a single giraffe's vertebrae can measure up to 10 inches long, 10 times the length of a human's. These elongated vertebrae are filled with specialized spongy tissue that make them both lightweight and flexible, allowing the giraffe to bend and twist its neck with ease. A giraffe's height is essential in foraging for food, with males standing as high as 18 feet and females 16 feet. It allows them to reach leaves high up in the trees that other animals cannot access giving them a unique food source that helps them survive during tough times. But it's not just the neck that stands out in giraffe's skeleton. Its legs are incredibly unique, with each one measuring up to six feet in length. This long-legged structure helped the giraffe move gracefully on the savanna, allowing it to cover long distances with ease. Additionally, the giraffe's legs are also remarkably strong, capable of supporting its immense weight and enabling it to gallop at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. One might wonder how a creature as tall as the giraffe manages to pump blood all the way up to its head. The answer lies in its extraordinary cardiovascular system. To combat gravity and keep blood flowing upwards, the giraffe's heart is incredibly powerful, weighing an impressive 25 pounds and capable of pumping up to 16 gallons of blood per minute. Its arteries and veins are also specially designed with valves and constricting muscles to prevent blood from pooling in its legs while standing. This unique adaptation allows the giraffe to maintain a consistent blood pressure even when its head is held high above its heart. Giraffes live in herds consisting of females, their offspring, and a dominant male. These herds have a stable social structure with strong bonds between members. For instance, female giraffes will often form friendships with other females and help each other care for their young. The dominant male, on the other hand, protects the herd from predators and ensures that harmony is maintained within the group. They communicate through various vocalizations and body language, such as necking, head bobbing, and tail flicking. 
These behaviors convey different messages to other giraffes, such as warning of danger or displaying dominance. But contrary to many herd-oriented species, giraffes' social organization is surprisingly fluid. Unlike elephants with their tight-knit family units or wolves with their rigid pack hierarchies, giraffes do not have strong long-term bonds. Instead, their groups are often loose and change frequently with individuals joining and leaving as they please. Giraffes are browsers, not grazers. Their long necks and long tongues, which can stretch up to 20 inches, allow them to reach the high branches of acacia trees that other herbivores can't. By feeding on the top of trees, they help to prune the vegetation, allowing sunlight to reach the ground and assisting in the growth of plants below. Their feeding habits also help to spread seeds across the savanna, contributing to the diversity of plant life. To cope with acacia tree's thorns, they have tough lips and a unique enzyme in their saliva that neutralizes the plant's toxins. This adaptation allows them to consume a variety of plants that other animals cannot, giving them an advantage in finding food during times of scarcity. Also, the giraffe's saliva is highly efficient in water retention, a critical feature that minimizes the amount of water needed for digestion. This adaptation is crucial for survival, especially during dry season when water is scarce. Giraffes can go for extended periods without drinking water, relying on the moisture content of their leafy diet and their saliva's water-conserving properties to stay hydrated. A typical day in the life of an adult giraffe is a mix of feeding and resting. They spend most of their time eating, often up to 16 hours a day, consuming hundreds of pounds of leaves. However, despite this seemingly constant daytime activity, giraffes are known to adapt their feeding habits according to the availability of resources and the threat of predators, becoming nocturnal feeders when necessary. This flexibility allows them to exploit cooler temperatures and reduce competition for food during the night. The moonlit savanna provides a serene backdrop as they quietly move between the acacias, their towering figures barely visible against the starry sky. This nocturnal behavior also helps them minimize the risk of predation, as many of their predators are less active at night, offering them a layer of protection in the vulnerable act of feeding. These gentle giants have one of the shortest sleep requirements of any mammal, averaging just two hours a day, often in short naps of five to 10 minutes at a time. Due to their size and vulnerability that comes with laying down, giraffes rarely sleep fully prone. Instead, they may rest standing up or occasionally in a seated position with their long necks curved back and their heads resting on their hindquarters. This position not only allows them to quickly rise and flee from predators if necessary, but also minimizes the time it takes for blood to travel from their heart to their brain when they wake up. Despite their size and strength, giraffes must constantly be vigilant against predators. The primary threats to adult giraffes are lions, who have been known to collaborate in groups to take down these towering mammals, particularly targeting individuals that are sick or isolated from their herd. Hyenas and leopards also pose a danger, especially to younger or weaker giraffes. But giraffes are not easy prey. Their long and powerful legs can deliver a fatal kick, and they have excellent eyesight to spot danger from afar. The calves are particularly vulnerable in their first few months of life before they gain the size and speed necessary for better defense. Predation is a significant risk factor for juvenile giraffes, with a considerable percentage not surviving to adulthood. Female giraffes reach sexual maturity at about five years of age, while males mature a bit later, around seven years. However, males often wait several more years to gain enough size and strength to compete for mating rights. 
The competition among males for a female's attention is intense, involving displays of dominance such as necking, a form of aggressive behavior where males swing their necks to compete for dominance. Once a male giraffe has caught the attention of a female, they start the courtship ritual. This could involve gentle nudges, closely following her, and other actions to convince her to mate. Once they mate successfully, the female giraffe undergoes a lengthy gestation period of about 15 months. Imagine being born and the first thing you do is fall six feet to the ground. This fall, though seemingly harsh, is a critical part of the birth process. Not only does it sever the umbilical cord, but it's also the wake-up call that kickstarts the calf's first breath and encourages it to stand up as predators like lions and hyenas are always on the lookout for an easy meal. In less than an hour, the calf who stands about six feet tall is usually up and about exploring its new world with wide-eyed wonder. And before the sun sets on its first day, the calf is not just walking, but running. The mother giraffe provides a tentative care to her calf, nursing it for up to a year. During this time, the calf also begins to experiment with solid food, gradually transitioning to an adult diet. This nurturing period is crucial for the calf's development not only for its physical growth, but also for learning social skills and the intricacies of navigating their environment. Giraffes, with their towering presence and serene demeanor, play a crucial role in the ecosystem, impacting not just the vegetation, but also interacting with various animal species in unique ways. Their relationship with birds, especially the oxpeckers, is one of nature's fascinating mutualisms. These birds are often seen riding on the backs of giraffes, feeding on ticks and other parasites found on their skin. This interaction provides the giraffe with a natural pest control service, while the birds receive a steady food source. Beyond this, giraffes inadvertently provide shelter and food for smaller animals through their foraging habits. When giraffes eat, they dislodge insects and other small creatures hiding in the foliage making them available to birds and other insectivores. Additionally, the paths they create while moving through dense vegetation provide access to new areas for smaller animals, enhancing the biodiversity of their habitat. The conservation status of giraffes has become a growing concern in recent years. Classified as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, these majestic creatures face significant threats that jeopardize their survival. Habitat loss due to expanding agriculture, poaching for their meat, pelts, and tails, as well as civil unrest in many parts of Africa are some of the critical challenges giraffes face. Today, their populations have experienced a decline of nearly 40% over the last three decades with less than 100,000 individuals remaining in the wild. Recognizing this threat to one of Africa's most iconic creatures, conservation efforts have been underway to protect giraffes and their habitats. These efforts include creating protected areas like national parks and reserves where giraffes can thrive, implementing anti-poaching measures, and promoting sustainable land management practices that benefit both wildlife and local communities. In the vast, sun-drenched savannas where life teems in countless forms, the giraffe stands tall, not only in stature, but in its role within the ecosystem. These gentle giants, with their intricate patterns and gentle eyes, embody the essence of the African wilderness. They remind us of nature's complexity and the interconnectedness of all living things. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the insane biology of giraffes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Until next time, keep exploring.